here at the NFL Combine with Greg Cosell. Greg, tell me your experience with John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, the new regime in San Francisco, a positive one going forward so far. Oh, I think it's a really good move. I mean, obviously John Lynch doesn't come with experience in the business, but he's a really smart guy, really thoughtful, has always thought the game. I think he spent a lot of time in the last number of years in Denver trying to learn how to do this. And, uh, you know, again, it comes down to the fact that he's a really sharp guy. I think he has a real feel for the game of football. And uh, I think he'll do a really good job. And, and what I really like, and I hope it plays out that way, is the fact that they gave them long-term contracts because I think there needs to be a recognition that you just can't continually change. And I think when you hire someone like John and Kyle, and Kyle, to me, as an offensive coach, and again, anytime someone becomes a head coach for the first time, you don't know, but I can tell you as an offensive coach, he is clearly one of the best in the business. I used to love putting on the tape and watching the Falcons offense because you'd see really, really good concepts, really cool things, and, and I think Kyle Shanahan, as an offensive mind, is among the best in the league. There's been so much talk about patience, but then you also hear John Lynch talk about the quarterbacks in this draft and saying, I think they get a bad rap. There's a lot to like here. And he said good right. things about all four. And so what's your take? And, and maybe well, who's your pick of the crop? Well, he should say that because there's no reason at this point to say anything negative about any player at this point. It makes no sense. Uh, you know, as far as the quarterbacks in this crop, I've been through in, in great detail about seven or eight of them. I think that in this particular class, there's quarterbacks with strengths and clearly defined weaknesses that you have to be aware of when you draft a guy and you have to understand the process involved in getting that guy ready to play. Uh, now, I don't know what they're going to do with the second pick in the draft. If Kyle Shanahan clearly believes that one of these quarterbacks can efficiently and effectively run his offense, because that's what it comes down to in the NFL. It's not an abstract discussion of quarterbacks. It's scheme adaptability. Do I see this quarterback effectively running my offense? If Kyle Shanahan believes that, then you take a quarterback at two. If you're uncertain about that, then what you do is you take the best player on your board at number two, who ideally is going to be a contributing starter with all pro potential, and you move on. But you can't get caught up. The last thing you can do here is if the first quarterback on your board is your 29th best player, you can't take him at two. You've got to take a player that's worthy of, of, on your board of being the second pick in the draft. Regardless of where he ranks against everybody else, who is your favorite quarterback as it stands right now? You know, I, I don't quite do it that way, because they, in, particularly in this class, because I think there's too many defined weaknesses, flaws, deficiencies with this group as a whole. So now it comes down to basically what I just spoke about, which is scheme adaptability, how you see a quarterback within the framework of specific offenses. You know, there's a lot of talk, I'm sure, of Mitch Trubisky. He seems to be the hot name. I think it would take him a while to really learn the intricacies and the detail and the nuance of a Kyle Shanahan offense. That doesn't mean he can't become a good player, but I think it would take him time. You'd have to understand that that's a process. John Lynch has money to spend in free agency, yeah. plenty of cap space, and there are some big names out there, whether it's Alshon Jeffrey, Donta Hightower, a couple other names there to be had. I mean, what do you expect from this free agency period coming up on March 9th? Well, I think that this is a, a team and a roster that has a lot of holes. So I think what you're trying to do in free agency is obviously you're going to have a sense of how much money you want to spend on specific players, and if you can get those players, you go after them. Certainly they need help at receiver. I mean, Alshon Jeffrey is, is out there right now. He's still a young player. He has a little bit of a injury history, which you have to factor into the equation because this league is, is the able league. It's about being available, available. And Jeffrey is a good player, but he has not been as available as you would like him to be. Uh, but I, I'm sure they'll be active because they need to upgrade their roster. And there's two paths to do that, free agency and the draft. So they will be active in free agency. Greg, thanks so much for the time. Appreciate it.